know, there's been a lot of talk about how difficult this season is, especially compared to seasons past. And we could definitely attribute it to the new obstacles. So many new obstacles are introduced, ones that nobody's ever seen before. So a lot of these guys, they prepare year round, but they can't prepare for the obstacles they've never seen before. And it's really been difficult. It's really given some guys, some veterans, uh, some, some trouble. So uh, that's, I think that's kind of the, the coolest new thing about our show. Uh, so if you've been a fan, tune in to see these awesome new obstacles for American Ninja Warrior. So here we are in Las Vegas. It's season five finale, Mount Midoriyama here on American Ninja Warrior. And it's awesome because we have not only the names that you're very familiar to seeing if you are a fan of our show, a lot of the veterans, but a lot of newcomers, rookies, guys who really came out and set set the tone in our qualifying city competitions. So, I mean, this is this is the holy grail. This is our Mount Midoriyama, as you would say, right? I mean, this, this, this is where it all gets laid on the line. And, and I really do believe that we have our first American Ninja Warrior here tonight. Well, we're here at Mount Midoriyama, and Mount Midoriyama is separated into four stages, stage one, two, three, four, that all get much more difficult as you progress. Just to put things in perspective, as we know, no American has made it to stage four of Mount Midoriyama, and only three Japanese competitors back in Japan have ever successfully done this course. So it gets much more difficult and it's unbelievable to compare it to our qualifying cities. You know, in the first prelims, we have six obstacles and then 10 obstacles. So um, here, it's not really necessarily about the number of obstacles, it's about the varying degrees of difficulty. And I tell you what, if we can see someone get to stage four, which I think we are gonna see, we are definitely gonna be in for a treat. So we've got 85 men and women who either qualified or were invited. And I know when I say invited, we did have a really cool element, the wild card. So we talked about how difficult some of the qualifying courses were. A lot of new obstacles. Some of our veterans even, surprised, were knocked out. So what was great is we did have that wild card element, some of the competitors that we felt that had a good shot at doing well here at Mount Midoriyama. But it's kind of neat if you look at the backgrounds from all these different competitors. You've got you know everything from firefighters to the guy who's a seventh grade teacher. You've got CrossFit, parkour, free running, all these different kinds of backgrounds that all kind of culminate to make this perfect American Ninja Warrior competitor. You know, we've got the names that we're used to, the Drew Dreschels, the, the Brent Stephensons, uh, you know, and then you've got all these new names that will be the names we're gonna be talking about next season, which is super cool. And it's, it's, it's awesome to see how everybody has their own individualist take on the obstacles uh, and to really see which is the best approach. And it's kind of cool. And I think it, it trains the future Ninja Warriors. You know, here at Mount Midoriyama, not only are the obstacles difficult, but we've got the time element involved. So, you know, interesting when you think about strategy, the, go the competitors I think do really well are the ones that have good body weight, body weight ratio for grip strength. You know, they can hold their own body weight, not too tall, not too big, not too heavy, but really, it doesn't really matter because what might be good for one obstacle could be completely different for another. And that's where you kind of kind of have to come in well-rounded. You know, we talk about the, the background from the competitors that are here. What's so needed, it's so varied. You know, you've got the, the, the parkour, free running, CrossFit, gymnastics background. You've got the seventh grade teacher. And, and you, so you ask what's What's the best strategy for approaching our course? You would think like the rock climbers, right? The grip strength, that's gonna be what's good. Or you take a gymnastics, then you know how to hit the mini tramp. But what is so great about our obstacle course and what makes it the most difficult obstacle course in the world is that you gotta be good at it all. You know, what you might be good at the trampoline because you're a gymnast, but if you don't have that grip strength figured out, you're not gonna make it past the ultimate cliffhanger. So that's what's so cool is that you have to be well-rounded and really you never know what you're gonna get. And so that's where the seventh grade teacher who maybe doesn't have a background in anything but is just kind of well-rounded, he could be our first American Ninja Warrior. That's what's so cool, you never know. Could be the guy sitting at home on the couch right now. He might be our next American Ninja Warrior next season. It's really cool that really people can sit at home, they can be inspired, they can go out, they can train, and they can actually compete on the show.